Welcome to SAS, short and sweet tips for the business sector from the Case Mastermind Group. Okay, well, without any further ado, please take us into your first tip, please, Emma. Yes, indeed. So my first tip is around knowing your outcome, okay? Sounds very simple, and it is. But a lot of people, this is quite a big stumbling block because it's like, so what is your outcome? What does success look like for you? Not for what other people think it should be, but actually for you and in terms of your business and what your clients need, okay? So it's very much about having a really good focus on what it is that you deliver for them, what their needs are, and how you're meeting those needs successfully. So it's a bit like we've talked about travel. So you and me know what it's like to be on a plane. Um, so when you're on a plane, um, you know where you're going. You know that destination. And what happens is, I don't know whether you've heard this, apparently there's a statistic that there's 98% of the time you're off track when you're flying in the sky, which is interesting. Um, so I think it's something to do with not having any roads up there. Could be, could be that. But what <laughs> happens is they adjust a little bit right, a little bit left, a little bit up, a little bit down until they meet their destination. Okay. So having that flexibility to adjust, but knowing where you're going, because if you started here and went just one or two degrees off, you could end up, instead of being in Scotland, you're going to end up in Norway. So knowing very much about, how a second, what is it that I need? Is it aimed by me? Is it absolutely within my gift to do? Um, and how am I going to know when I get there? Okay. Life happens so quickly, especially within business. You have success, ha, and then you're moving on. So actually taking that moment to celebrate that success. What are you going to see when you get there? What are you going to hear? What are you going to feel? What's it going to be like? So you actually have that clear path. Um, and understanding what you want more than what you don't want. Okay. Yeah. So lots of people, and um, I do this coaching and stuff, and people come in and say, well, I don't want to be stressed. I don't want my business to be a disaster. I don't want a client like this. And what happens if you've got a particular part of your brain called the reticular activating system? And what happens um, is that it will get what you focus on. Um, and the word not, we tend to delete. So our brains can't process negation. So what happens is they get all of those clients um, that they don't want because <laughs> that's what they've been focusing on. So if you don't want somebody who does X, Y, Z, they get the people that do X, Y, Z. You notice that? <laughs> so, yeah, so basically, what do you want rather than what you don't want is a really important thing in terms of your outcome. Knowing what it looks like and having that flexibility en route so that when you get there, you, you know you've got there and to celebrate that. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much Does that make sense? It really does, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, funnily enough, I've done a, a talk recently with a guy called, I don't know if you know Gary Price familiar with Gary mm -hmm. okay Gary, Gary was talking on the same sort of lines of you know knowing your destination but yeah it's so very true we we we, we so very often um defining so much what we don't want that we're actually that's where our focus is and um that's that's a really major issue so um yeah, yeah, it's, it's all about knowing what you want and, and looking out for that, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. And, and within business, doing that research to know what your clients want, because it needs to marry, because <laughs> it's all very well knowing and having a business that you love, that's great. But if it's not what your customer needs, then um, obviously getting to that destination of success, whatever success looks like for you, um, is gonna be a much less than easy job, let's put it that way. Whereas if you can marry the two, know your customer, know what they need, and therefore have that outcome clearly in mind. Um, and everything then that you do can focus towards it. So every single time you do something, you're taking that step towards that success. So yeah, very much you know, having that focus. 
Yeah, yeah, uh, and I like that bit there. The um, having a business that your customer needs, not what you want, basically, because it is so easy for yes. someone. You know, they they love what they do. I I, I like making yeah. a particular cake um, or or whatever, and build a business around that. But if there's no customers that want that cake, then you need to have a rethink um, what your business yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I think somebody defined it as an expensive hobby if it's not what your customer wants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, so true. That so true. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a business. It's a, and it's an expensive hobby. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and uh, so that's really my first tip. Is yeah, very much knowing your outcome, being very clear on on where you want to go. Yeah, have, have a look at where you're going and not where you've been. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Excellent. So thanks for sharing that uh, first tip for us. So uh, thank you for spending time with us today. This has been brought to you by the Case Mastermind Group. Please be sure to follow us in the links to this message. Please give your real honest feedback on what you have just heard and share what you enjoyed or liked the best. We really do check the feedback that we receive. Please also share with your friends who you believe could benefit from it just to show you care. To our listeners, remember, no matter where you are on the mountain of success, let's enjoy the journey together to the top. We will see you there, my friends.